here we have a conventional microwave oven and today I'm going to show you just what people all over the world are exposing themselves to whenever they use these appliances. Now microwave ovens are named as such since they use microwave radiation rather than heat to cook food and we can measure that radiation. Here we have our Cornette electrosmog meter and as you can see there's a relatively low level of background radiation in our environment here right now. So I'm going to put this glass of water into the microwave oven. It's a little windy outside, that's what the popping you hear is. Now, watch what happens to the readings on the meter as soon as I start the microwave oven. Immediately, jumping up from under 1 milliwatt per square meter into the hundreds. Every now and then we see it reading 1827, meaning this microwave oven is actually maxing out the meter at certain times, maxing the meter out. Now, we're going to back up here. And notice how the readings gradually decrease as we move away from the microwave oven. Now, we're in the living room now, but you can see the microwave radiation level are still reaching above one milliwatt per square meter. Thousands of times lower than when we're standing next to the microwave, but still an extremely dangerous level. We're going to move back closer now. and watch what happens when the microwave oven stops. Immediately, levels drop back to under 0.1 milliwatts per square meter. What is the lesson to be learned from this? Don't stand next to your microwave oven while it is cooking your food. The more distance you can put between yourself and the microwave oven, the better.